Okay, now it's time for the uh, October 6th, the solar tour of homes. Let's see how it goes. You couldn't even tell there's a solar system on the roof unless you knew where to look. It's right there. But what they can tell is that it uses electricity, it generates electricity more than uh, Mr. Zamuda can use. Here is Bob Zamuda. Can I ask you uh, why you decided to put in a solar electric system? Well, I have an electric car and I also have a swimming pool which has a pump, an electric pump and those use a fair amount of electricity and I didn't want to have to pay for that electricity every month. Plus, I just really like the idea of generating electricity from the sun. Uh, it's free and it's just liter literally raining down on you. So. We used to have electric fire, but we got rid of it because it, was, it wasn't as energy efficient. And we went and run our uh, uh, water heater and we went turn that into electric. And I want to get an electric scooter or an electric car eventually. I want to be able to plug into my house. So I want to add to this system in such a manner that it really doesn't show so much from the street. And I can do that on the garage and on the other side. This is Mrs. Eckhoff at the solar home of Mr. and Mrs. Eckhoff in Long Beach. They have thin film technologies you can barely see it. We're going to take a look at it in a minute. Uh, can you tell me uh, why you chose to use solar power on your house? Well, there was a couple of things. Um, we didn't want to continue paying uh, the high prices that we were for electricity. And with this unit on our house, we actually, um, our bill last month was $2. And over the course of the year, it's maybe about $60. And that was one positive thing. The other thing is we put an aluminum roof on our house. So our solar is integrated into that aluminum roof so we can do water collection as well as the solar power. About three or four years ago, um, it was, um, I don't know if you can maybe see a little bit. There's still a few little holes in our house, but they actually cut holes into our um, siding and blew in insulation. So we, our house is insulated. And then um, we also have all of the plants in our garden are native plants, with the exception of the grass. And so that's why we did it. I'm really happy with the aluminum and I'm really happy with the coating on it. It's like a very tough coating. It'll last forever. So I'm really happy with the whole thing. I just wish I could get more electricity off of my roof because we want to, like I said, we want to upgrade to use more electricity, but we want to use it with using uh, alternative energy via solar voltaics. So we're thinking about putting another system, probably a crystalline system, on the roof of the garage. So here's the solar uh, solar thin film installation on this home. Now the only difficulty with thin film is that it operates at a little lower voltage and it, it doesn't have an airspace below it to take carry off the heat. Other than that, you know, you basically can't even tell that it's here. Of course, I, I happen to like to look at the crystalline panels, but this is an example of a thin film panel system in Long Beach, so you can barely tell that it's here. 